You may know our next guest, Katie Morton from The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise. But today, she's raising awareness about narcolepsy, a chronic sleep disorder that she's living with. Take a look. I was diagnosed with narcolepsy in high school. It can make me completely exhausted, extremely emotional, and sometimes have brain fog. Sometimes I have to say no to things I want to do because I know I will have trouble staying awake. There is no cure, so learning what works for me and what doesn't has helped me manage living with this chronic condition. It's National Sleep Awareness Week. Katie sat down with Dr. Nita and her physician, Dr. Akinyemi Ajay. Take a look. Thanks, Dr. Orden. Katie, hi, thanks for being with us today. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, first of all, let me start by saying there are so many fans of The Bachelor at the Doctors TV show, so they are going to be super excited about this segment. I'm excited about this segment, so we're one and the same. I'm curious, tell me, did having narcolepsy affect your experience on The Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise? Yes, filming a reality TV show meant long days and long nights with very little rest. And being someone that has narcolepsy, it was on a grander scale how tired I was. And how are you coping now? You know, I'm in a good place. The pandemic restrictions have slowed everything down, making it a lot easier for me to catch up on my rest. Before that, honestly, I would have had a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out. Yes, I totally get that. I would be the same way. But you know what? I want to take a little bit of time to talk about symptoms. Everyone with narcolepsy experiences excessive daytime sleepiness and can feel tired all the time. We know that having narcolepsy may also cause you to experience disrupted nighttime sleep, sleep paralysis, and vivid hallucinations while falling asleep or waking up. And some people even experience cataplexy, which is the sudden muscle weakness triggered by strong emotions. I'm happy that we have Dr. Ajay here, who's a sleep specialist. Dr. Ajay, you have a firsthand account of how this can really impact a person's mental and physical health, as well as their work and social interactions, right? Yes, people with narcolepsy are more likely to have psychological conditions, including depression and anxiety. And you're at risk for having other medical conditions as well. Tell us about that. Sure, it's important for those with narcolepsy to prioritize their overall health. That's because they may be almost twice as likely to have some form of heart disease as compared to the general population. People with narcolepsy also tend to have higher rates of certain conditions than the general population. For instance, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and diabetes. So, Dr. Ajay, what does the at-risk population need to know? So now, learning to live with narcolepsy by managing the symptoms and being aware of the potential for having other medical conditions is really important. Take care of your health and be conscious of your sodium intake. Remember, reducing sodium can lower blood pressure and support heart health. Absolutely. It's so important to eat a heart-healthy diet, exercise regularly, and avoid smoking because we know smoking is a key risk factor for cardiovascular disease. And Katie, I'm curious. You've been dealing with narcolepsy for a while. What has worked for you? No, trying to stay as active as possible. So I do try to exercise at least 30 minutes every day. And heart health is already at the top of mind for me because heart disease does run in my family. Katie, before we go, what else would you like people to know? If you feel tired all the time, talk to your doctor. And to learn more about narcolepsy and overall health, visit morethantired.com backslash living with narcolepsy. Katie, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you for having me today. And Dr. Ajay, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.